Hi, this is Asen. Today I would like to share how to obtain the limit of sine x to the power of 2 tangent x at x equal to 0. As we can see here, if let's say we substitute 0 to the function, sine 0 is 0, 2 tangent 0 also 0. So as we can see here, we have 0 to the power of 0. This is indeterminate form, so we are not able to obtain the limit directly. So what can we do here? We just rewrite the function. We let y equal to sine x to the power of 2 tangent x. Okay, after that, we apply loan for both sides. So using the loan properties, we bring down the power 2 tangent x loan sine x. So it means that the limit of Lone y when x approaches 0 is equal to the limit of x approaches 0 for the function 2 tangent x lone sine x. Since 2 is constant, we can take out. Okay, after that, we just evaluate. So, tangent 0 is 0 sine 0 also 0, lone 0 is infinity, so we have 0 times infinity, this is indeterminate form, so we rewrite the function to a fraction, so we have lone sine x over 1 over tangent x, so 1 over 1 over tangent, we obtain tangent, so we have Okay, this one, infinity, 1 over 0, infinity, infinity over infinity, indeterminate form. If let's say we have fraction and indeterminate form, then we can apply L'Hopital rule. So we differentiate both the numerator and the denominator separately. So when we differentiate, okay, we just copy back the limit okay when we differentiate ln side x we have okay differentiate ln side x is 1 over sine x then we differentiate sine x we obtain cos x okay after that we differentiate 1 over tangent x okay for this one if let's say we cannot remember the identities okay the differentiate differentiate table so we apply the quotient rule. So we let u equal to 1 and v equal to tangent x. So we have du dx is equal to 0. Then dv dx is equal to secant squared x. So we have v du dx minus u dv dx over v squared. So we have v is tangent x, then du dx is 0, so minus u is 1, and dv dx is secant squared x. Then we over tangent squared x, since it's v squared. So tangent x times 0 is 0, then we minus secant squared. Secant is 1 over cos, so we have 1 over cos squared x, and tangent is sine squared x over cos squared x. Okay, 0 minus 1 over, so means that we have negative 1 over cos squared x over sine squared x over cos squared x. Okay, then we simplify, so we cancel out cos squared, then we left only negative 1 over sine squared x. So it means that the differentiate the derivative of 1 over tangent x is negative 1 over sine squared x. Okay, so we have, okay, we cancel, then we left only two limit x approaches 0. Okay, cos times sine. So we have negative cos x times sine x. Okay, then we check and see. So when we substitute 0 to cos x, we have 1. 
and we substitute 0 to sign x, we have 0. So 1 times 0 is 0. So limit of this function is 0. So 2 times 0, we have 0. Okay, after that, we use the limit properties. Okay, from here, we can see that limit x approaches 0 for the function loan y is equal to 0. So we take out the loan, we have limit x approaches 0, y is equal to 0. Then we anti loan both sides. So when we anti loan, then limit x approaches 0 for the function y is equal to exponent 0, which is equal to 1. So as we can see here, as we let initially, so y is equal to this function. So from here, we can say that the limit of sine x to the power of 2 sine x when x approaches 0 is equal to 1. Then we done. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.